Let me tell you a little story. And at the end of the story, there's going to be a lesson. There's going to be a lesson for all of the maybe young men out there, all of the betas, all of the gentlemen who are yet to realize their potential and how to, how to present themselves in a respectful, but in a manner that commands respect. This is something that gentlemen, when they're younger, including myself, even until the last couple of years, I was absolutely terrible at this. But basically, I'm going to paint a little picture for you here. I'm going to paint a little picture. I was on a date with a, with a lady, with a fine young lady, actually, that I met through a dating app. This, this dating app is called Bumble. Bumble. Bumble is very, very convenient here in Japan. I met this, this fine young lady on Bumble. We exchanged messages for a week, probably about a week. She seemed to be quite into me, quite, quite into me. At this time, mind you, I mean, at this, at, at this time too, not just this time about whatever it was a year ago, but at this time too, um, the way I look at dating is I'm way too busy r really for it, but occasionally I do get that urge of like, you know, like, man, I, I want to be in a relationship. O or, and or, genuinely, and or, I want to I wanna dig some guts out, you know, so either one's fine for me. Just kind of depends on the lady that I meet. If she's nice, maybe I'll, I'll pursue a relationship with her. And if she's maybe kind of nice, but kind of, anno kind of annoying, like talks, talks to her. I think we just ended there just like talks, just talks in general. Then I don't want a relationship with her. I just maybe I just want to see if I can smash you know? and then we'll get out. And I'm not going to be shady about it. But I'll, I will let them know how I feel. But anyways, I was talking to this lady. I was talking to this nice young lady. And she was interested in me, etc., etc., etc. What have you. The norm. I mean the norm. The usual conversation that I have with, with uh, the opposite sex, right? How, how interested they are in me and how, uh, how dashing I am. So she was telling me about her favorite food as hot pot or whatever, you know. So uh, I was like, yeah, let's, let's, let's go get this hot pot thing here in Japan. You know, I haven't had a hot pot before, so let's, let's go, right? We, we go out to hot pot on this winter night. This is a cold night, and we had this, this nabe, nabe they call it, right? Nabe. It's like hot pot. So we go, we eat this hot pot, and she's really cool. She's genuinely, really, I was really impressed. I knew that she would be friendly and nice, and she was cute, but I, w I was genuinely impressed. She was very, very cool. Um, Especially for a girl that doesn't speak any English. She didn't speak any English at all. And usually the girls who don't speak any English are very, very reserved, very traditional, very shy. At least when they're interacting with foreigners. But this girl didn't speak any English at all. But she was super cool, super, super talkative, super easy to talk to, very giggly. We, are, we, eat, this, we eat this hot pot. We're having a good time. We're having a great date. Genuinely a great date. And I was like, hey, let's... Uh, you know, let's get out of here. I had a great, great first date. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go home. I had a good time meeting you, and maybe we can meet again sometime, right? So, I mean, just, just natural standard rule: first date, guys. Keep it short. Keep it simple. Get in, get out. See what, you, see what's going on, and then get out. I mean, maybe have a backup plan in case things go incredibly well, but go into the date thinking it might get fucked up. It might get weird. You need to have an escape route. Just tell her it's an hour, or an hour, or two hours. You know, not too, not too expensive, not too time invested. You, you will be, and you know, just get in there and get out. General rule of thumb for your first dates, right? And then also, you don't seem like you're, you're, you're hanging around. You're trying to, whatever, wow her for hours and hours and be annoying, right? You want, you, you the best case scenario is leaving the date with the girl wanting more, the girl wanting, wondering where you went, wondering, you know, when she's going to get to see you again. So anyways, I was like, all right, well, had a good date. I would love to see you again. So uh, I'll be, I'll be heading out. Thank you. Thank you, miss. Um, get home safe, lady. And she was like, wait, let's hang out. Let's, let's do something else. Let's hang out more. And I was like, oh my God, fine. So, so we went to, we went to my, my, my backup, my classic backup spot. If anyone knows anything about Japan, Tokyo, every corner, man, there's always a karaoke, a karaoke place, karaoke, right? Always, always a karaoke place. Any corner here in Japan, I can see like three from where I am right now. You, and basically you just go there and it's like a private room. It's not like karaoke over, overseas in the States where you sing in front of all these people that you don't fucking know. 
and there's like drunk people singing uh, Sweet Child of Mine on, on stage. No, 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 no. You actually get a private room and you sing by yourselves and I know that sounds weird, but it's a lot of fun, especially if you like singing, like me. So, brought to the classic, the classic, the classic karaoke. We went in there and not only is it good because then you can get some alone time and it's kind of a small room, you're gonna get snuggled up a little bit together, you get to be goofy, you get to you know, sing music, like it's a, it's a great idea for like a second date or something to get a little bit closer with a woman. Karaoke, and especially if you can sing a little bit. So I'm not a great singer by any means, but I did sing in multiple bands and I made solo music, etc. So I do have a couple, couple classic uh, tricks in, in, under the sleeve or in the back pocket, if you will, for when, for when the situation does arise that, that I have to take a lady out to karaoke. So I was like, yeah, you know, why not? You, you like karaoke? Let's, let's go, you know. Karaoke can I? Karaoke can I? And she was like, she's like, Iki toy, Iki toy. She's like, I want to go. So I was like, all right. Anything, then. let's go, girl. We t I took her to karaoke. Sang a little bit, you know, like I sing one song, she sings one song. She wants to do the duet, you know. She wants to do the uh, a whole new world, the fucking Aladdin duet. We do we do the duet, you know. I get I hit her with the I hit her with the in sync. I do the Backstreet Boys, I stand up, do some dance, and a little bit, you know, just fucking around, just being goofy, you know. Uh, what's that song? Uh, Till the day my life is through, this I promise you. <laughs> I was singing that Justin Timberlake to her. Uh, like for like the like the one hundredth girl that I've sang that to, <laughs> but uh, anyway, I was singing this shit to her. She's loving it. She's loving it. She's got the the pearl the pearly eyes. She's loving it, and you know it was just perfect, perfect time. I finished singing a song. Or maybe we sang the duet. Leaned over and she was she was right next to me and I kissed her. Wasn't even thinking. Just it was like it was perfect. It was right there. I kissed her. I was like, man, I'm really into the state right now. I'm having a great time. So I kissed her. Boom. She kissed me back. And she did not pull away. She kissed me back for a couple seconds. We kissed. And then I pulled away, and I was like, "Anyways, going on to anyways next." <laughs> started singing the next song, or whatever. I was like, "Hold on, girl." I was like, "I got, I got to get back to singing here." I started singing uh, "Twist" by Corn. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but I, whatever. I was like fucking singing all types of random shit. And she's just like, she stops the song, the next songs. I start singing, and she goes. Oh, fuck, my nose is itchy. My nose is fucking... I'm not picking my nose. No boogers. My nose is just really itchy, guys. God damn. <laughs> All right. She was like... She stops the song while I'm singing, and I was like, yo, that is not... That is not something that you do. You do not stop the song while I'm singing karaoke. That is a good way to get, get my pimp hand out. Obviously, I'm joking, right? But I was like, yo, what's wrong? I was like, what's wrong, baby girl? And she was like... She's like, I don't like you. I'm mad. And I was like, what? I was like, literally, like, what? Like, classic, like, this is, this, now this is what I say, when I say, like, Japanese girl experience, this is peak Japanese girl experience right here. She's like, I'm mad. I don't like you. And I'm like, what? And she's like, why did you just kiss me? And I was like, because, like, I like you. Like, this date's going really well. I'm having a good time. And, like, we, it just felt right. So I kissed you. And she was like, guys only kiss girls when they want to just play with them, not when they actually want to date them. And I was like, yo, like, that is not true. And she's like, no, it is. You just want to fuck me. And I was like, well, I'm not saying I don't want to do that, but that doesn't mean I just want to fuck you. Like, what? And then I explained to her, we had this conversation. I explained to her that I'm American. In America, it's totally normal to kiss on a first date. Like, if a, if a first date goes well and you don't kiss, that's almost weird. So I told her like that's totally normal. It doesn't mean that like I only want to fuck you. We can we can I can genuinely be interested in you or dating you or want to date you and and kiss you on the first date. Like what that doesn't fucking nothing to do with it. And she like almost was crying. Like this girl's freaking out. And uh, she's like I'm so angry. She's like I don't like you anymore. And she was like I thought I liked you, but now I don't like you and I'm angry and I just want to go home. And she's like saying she wanted to go home and shit. And I was like, wow. So like we talked, we talked for like 10 minutes about this and I explained to her like, it's just American culture. Like no big deal. Don't worry about it. Right. Don't worry about it. And she was like, well, I'm just, I'm still upset. I just want to go home. And I was just like, all right, well, let's go home then. And then she was like, wait, wait, what do you mean? Let's go home. I was like, well, you said you want to go home and like 
frankly, after this whole conversation, like the vibes are off. Like, and I'm, I'm just like not into this anymore. So I want to go home. Like, I want to go home too. I was like, so let's just, let's just go. I turned off the karaoke and I got up and she's like, wait, where are you going? I was like, you said you want to go home. Like I said, this is weird. Like I'm not into this whole vibe, so I'm out. I'm going, let's, let's go to the station. I'll walk you home. Like last train's coming anyways. And she's like, okay. And she like had this fucking like pissed off, like sad look on her face. And then we walked like 10 minutes to the station. And the whole time she's just like, I'm trying to like make it not awkward. And I'm like having like, like trying to keep some type of conversation going. And she just like, they're like pouting, like, and like making like one word, res one word responses to me. And I was just like, this is like, like such a child, such a child, dude. I was like, I can't wait to get out of here. This girl's like, like annoying, right? We get to the station. And I was like, all right, well, regardless, I had fun. Thank you for coming with me. I'll get home safe. And it was, it was nice meeting you. So, all right, have a good night. Turn around, walk away. And she just doesn't even say anything. She's just staring at me like this, like as I'm saying this. I turn around and walk away. And then she just goes, mate, mate. Mate means wait. It's like, wait, wait. And I'm just like, what? I'm like, like what? And she's like, you're really gonna go home? I was like, well, you said you wanted to go home. You said you didn't like me. Like you, you literally said, not like, oh, like no, I'm, like, like I'm not attracted to you or something. She's like, I don't like you. Like, I, like I'm angry at you type shit. I'm like, what? Like, this is fucking childish. Like, okay, if you don't like me, then I'm out. Like I'm leaving. I was like, all right, well, I mean, you said you said all this, so I'm good, I'm, I'm leaving. And she was like, no. She's like, don't. She's like, ikan naide. She's like, kaira naide. I'm like, yo. Like, this is, this is like a waste of my time. Like, I appreciate it, but I'm gone. I'm out of here. And she's like, and then she's like, can we talk some more? She's like, I just want to like get to talk a little more. I want to get to know you a little better. And I'm like, yo, it's like, it's last train right now. So if, if anything, like, we'll do that another day, okay? Because it's last train. I need to get home. Like I said, like, I'm not like, I'm not really feeling too hot about this whole situation. So I'm going. And then she's just like, wait, can we, she's like, I know a bar over here. Can we just go to this bar and we'll just talk and like, we can get to know each other a little better. I don't want you to actually leave. <laughs> and so just, just, just let's stop for a second. I'm just going to pause and make sure everyone's caught up to speed with what's going on here. She said she didn't like me. She said that she was put off by me trying to kiss her. She thought that I was rude. She was saying like basically that I was an asshole and that like I only was trying to smash her, etc. And when she said that, what did I do? Did I did I curl up and go, oh, I'm so sorry. No, I didn't mean it that way. I'm so sorry. What, what do I have to do to regain your respect? Oh, please don't go, girl. What can I, no, I'll just be your friend. I'll just be your friend until you change your mind about me. Oh, please, let's just be friends and then maybe you'll like me later. No, dude. I was like, well, if, I mean, I want to either date you or, I want, or or if you're down, like, hey, I'm down to smash too. Like, I, I didn't say that, but that's what I'm thinking. Like, I'm not here to like, just be your friend or whatever, or have you like disrespect me and say you don't like me. So I'm out of here. If you, if you don't like me, then like, okay, peace out. And I'm gone. My attention is withdrawn. It's like, this is what we call a shit test. When they say something, when they try to disrespect you and they expect you to fold to them, they're testing to see if you are really that guy and really if you can like turn around and walk away. If you really have other options, if you really don't give that much of a fuck. Because girls don't want to date a guy who's just obsessed with them and them only. Girls want to date a guy that has options, a guy that is living his own life and not gonna stop on a dime and do anything that the girl wants them to do. So I was like, no, like I'm out of here. And then she was like, let's just go to this bar. Please don't leave, please don't leave. And she was like, like not crying, but she was like doing this like pouty thing. So annoying, dude, so fucking annoying. But I was like, like I told her it was last train. Like, and she's like, no, it's okay. We can stay out till like the morning and just talk. And I was like, all right, well that's code for, like you guys know what that's code for. It's like last train. She's like, let's, we can stay and talk till the morning. Talk to the morning. All right, yeah, like story short, you guys know what happens. We went to like one more bar and then yes, we, we, we did talk until the morning and then the girl afterward wouldn't leave me alone 
for the next like three weeks, this girl would not leave me alone, no matter what I did. And I mean, we, t we talked a little bit more for, for a little longer period of time, but things ended up not working out. I mean, no disrespect to her, she was, she was a nice girl, but a little, 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 little crazy, a little crazy, just a little bit. But it's just like another example of things, I mean, these type of things happen in all countries with all girls, but in Japan it's a little bit amplified, like, it, like the extent to which they play this whole, like they play one thing, but then they, they say one thing, but they do another. Just like how, how girls kind of act in general, but like that whole thing, is amplified times 10 here in Japan and if you guys want to like I said be respectful but also get respect from others and in and, and meaning meaning women and you're you're a younger dude you have to know when to put your foot down if there's some shit that you don't want if there's some shit that turns you off you need to tell them no and just because you tell them no does not mean that they're not going to be interested in you even though that's what you may think that's what you may think if they say they don't like you that this girl, this girl, swear to God, I know people are gonna say like, oh, I'm making this up. This girl told me, she's like, oh, I, I do not, after, after the fact, she's like, I do not sleep with men unless I'm dating them. I do not stay out with men unless I'm dating them. She said all of that. She's like, this is the first time I've done that. Guys, if you put your foot down, if you have respect for yourself, if a girl disrespects you like that and starts like, saying some crazy shit, saying I don't like you, like basically just like kind of like calling me a fuckboy and all this stuff. You can't just take that shit. You need to tell them what's up. Like, I mean, I'm not saying, hey, I'm not saying do anything crazy. I'm just saying walk away, know when to walk away. Turn your back, walk, walk the fuck away, man. Walk the fuck away and they will want it more. And the reason, another reason that I know this is I do have this one female friend, actual female platonic friend, and she's very, very honest. I know her very, 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 very well. I've known her for a super long time. And anyways, I was just kind of telling her this story because it was funny. And she was like, oh my God, you said no. Like you said you were going to go home after she said all that. And I was like, yeah, yeah. And she's like, I bet she loved that. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, yeah, like that's exactly it. She's like, oh my God, girls love it when you say no. Or girls love it when you like act like you're too good for them, or, like you don't need them. Oh my God. She's like, there's nothing more sexier than that. There's nothing that turns a girl on more than that. And like, the, I was like, yeah, like, I mean, that's, that's basically what happened here. So I'm not saying it's going to work every single time, but guys, like the point is, the, the point of the whole thing, right? The point of this whole conversation isn't to like play a game and like, say you don't care but if you really do care like like you, you really do care actually and then like hoping that a girl is like fuck me you 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 just said no to me so now i want to fuck you like no it doesn't work like that you have to actually not care that's the whole point the point isn't like play this game so girls like you the point is actually stop giving such a fuck actually have options actually have focuses in your life that are not women that are more important to you than women so when a girl like tries to disrespect you or turn you down or something, you can say, all right, well, I don't care because I'm going to do this anyways. Like you, like you are not my entire life, so I don't really give a fuck. Nothing turns them on more than that. Nothing gets girls going crazy about you more than that. And like I said, the point isn't, the whole point isn't to get girls turned on. The point is actually be your own guy and then they will come, right? Like we don't do all of these things to build ourselves up as men to attract women. We do all of that shit just because that's what the fuck is awesome. That's what's sick about life. That's what gets my wiener hard. That's what gets me stoked on life is just grinding, being my, being the best me that I can be, chasing after my dreams, trying to build all of my assets and my, just my, my personality and my wisdom as a man. And then women will just come as a result of that. We're not doing this because of girls. We are doing this for ourselves and then girls come because you are focused on yourself. So you understand what I'm saying? So learn to understand and recognize shit tests. And if you don't like them guys, if you feel like you're being disrespected, if you want to say no, say no, say no. And I'm not saying that always that's gonna bring the girl to you, but what it is going to do is it is going to keep your respect for yourself and when you have respect for yourself and you have options and you have things you are focused on the women will come so just a little uh just a little anecdote from my experiences here in japan i hope you guys enjoyed it my name is young james y-u-n-g-j-a-m-e-z 
Um, thanks for watching, gentlemen. Thanks for watching, guys. If you guys want to join my Discord, I have a whole bunch of guys. Sometimes we do hangouts and shit here in Tokyo. Add me on uh, Discord. Send me five dollars, or yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Send me five dollars on on uh, PayPal, and add your Discord username in the description, and then I will add you, and I'll add you to the group. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys. My name's Young James. All right, uh, peace, peace out.